Welcome to the YouTube lecture series of the Mechanical Engineering Society. I am Glenn, and this video will be about fluid me on the topic of similitude. Similitude consists of various topics under it, uh, one of which is the geometric similitude. In this type of similitude or relationship, uh, the model and the prototype should be identical in shape but differ in size. LR, or the scale ratio, is the, is the ratio of the linear dimensions of the prototype with respect to the model. And lambda, or the model ratio, is just inverse of the scale ratio. So it, lambda will just be equal to LM over LP. Second is kinematic similarity. Kinematic similarity uh, should have geometric similarity and also all the ratio of the velocity at all points in the flow must be the same. So in order to use this equation, uh, those two should be satisfied. So one of the equations for kinematic similarity is that the velocity ratio, Vr, would be equal to the velocity of the prototype over, over the velocity of the model. Uh, next up is, is the five important numbers. First up is Ray Reynolds number. Reynolds number is the most common dimensionless parameter used in fluid mechanics. So in Reynolds number, if the problem states that the viscous forces are predominant, you should use this number. And Reynolds number is just the ratio of the inertial force over the viscous forces, which is equal to the final equation, which is rho VL over the absolute viscosity. Next is the fruits number and in this number the predominant force is the gravitational force. So if, if the problem states that the gravitational forces are predominant you should use this number in solving for the parameters here. So fruits number is equal to the velocity over the square root of gl or gravity times the length. Next is Weber's number, and in Weber's number, this dimensionless parameter is associated with surface tension effects, FT, or the tension force. So Weber's number is equal to this equation. And then it's to be noted that this denominator here is also called celerity, or C. Next is Max number. This is often used in fighter jets which fly at very high speeds. So max number is equal to the ratio of the inertial force over the elastic forces or the density of the air molecules when it is being compressed. So it's the elasticity of those molecules. Next is Euler's number which is equal to the ratio of the inertial to the pressure. So Euler's number is often used in closed pipes, which turbulence is fully developed so that viscous forces are negligible and also gravity and surface tension are negligible. So this is the final equation for Euler's number. So to illustrate, uh, let me give an example using Reynolds number. So. In this problem, you are given that the specific weight of the prototype and the absolute viscosity of the prototype and the velocity of the prototype are these values. Also, the model will be submerged in water and the temperature of water is 15 degrees Celsius. And then the scale ratio is equal to 8 is to 1. So later, we will discuss what this means. So the problem requires us to solve for the velocity of the model. So the equation of that, given that the problem states that there is no wave action, therefore we use Reynolds number. We can say that the Reynolds number of the model can be equal to the Reynolds number of the prototype. So this is the equation for the Reynolds number. And it is noted that this variable which is called nu or the kinematic viscosity is just equal to the absolute viscosity over the density. So this is just another form to express Reynolds number. So 
given this equation to get the velocity of the model uh, we first solve nu of m and the nu of p so the kinematic viscosity of the prototype is just equal to the mu over density and we are already given the mu which is 0 0.0287 and the density is just equal to gamma over gravity and gamma is already given and we all know that gravity is 9.81 so we get an, this answer next is solving for the nu of the model which is equal to also the mu over the density uh, in this problem, the mu and the density of the prototype, given that the temperature is 15 degrees Celsius, is already given. So we just plug in the two values and we would get this answer. Going back to equation 1, we can rearrange the equation so that we could isolate the velocity of the model. So it is equal to the velocity of the prototype, which is 15 meters per second, which is given, times the Lp over Lm. So we know that the scale ratio is Lm over Lp, which is 8 is to 1. That's why this ratio is 1 over 8. And then multiplied by the two variables we just solved earlier. We just plug the answers in. So after that, we get this answer of Vm, which is equal to 0 0.062 meters per second. Next, the problem also requires us to find the, the force of the prototype. So the predominant force here is the inertial force. So we just use the equation of Fi, the inertial force, which is equal to density times V squared L squared. And we get the ratio of the prototype and the model to get the force of the prototype given the force of the model. So we rearrange the equation to isolate F sub P, which is equal to 3.5 newtons multiplied by the density of the prototype over the density of the model which, which we already computed a while ago then the linear dimensions of the prototype over the model which we also computed a while ago and the velocity which we also computed so after that we get this answer 2666 newtons